Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kater85, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Sky Twilight, and today, you guys, we're going to be continuing on from the last episode, which I honestly have no idea what we just did in the last episode, because it's been five months since I've recorded this series, so... It's crazy. I really do want to finish off this series, though. It's been a good game. I know that, at least. Um, and... You know what's funny? This is going to be the second episode that's uploaded uh, while I'm back from college. Because for some reason, I just had an episode sitting around that I had done nothing with. So I guess we'll be doing that. I'm pretty sure we had at least an evolution or something like that in the last episode. I'm not really entirely sure. I don't even know where we are in this game. I should probably check to see how many badges we have. To be completely honest with you, we have six badges. Okay. Well, we're in the home stretch. Anyways, let's take a look at our team real quick. I know we have an important battle, because I did kind of rewatch the last episode and see, hey, this guy looks important. I'm pretty sure we battled him before, so we'll definitely have an important battle that will test my Pokemon skill right away. Great. Anyways, first up we have Petunia, our Florigist level 34 with a Fairy Wind, Giga Drain, a Psychic, and Calm Mind. Next we have Gary, our level 35 Sligu, with Water Pulse, Dragon Breath, Sludge Bomb, and Shock Wave. Next we have Mrs. Mud, our level 35 Marsh Stomp, one level away from evolving, I'm pretty sure. With Takedown, Ice Beam, Surf, and EQ. Uh, next we have Tesla, our level 34 Luxray, with Strength, Bite, Charge, and Spark. That's definitely a lacking moveset, jeez. And finally, we have Babyface, our level 32 What's its name? Why can't I remember? Duosion. Why can't I remember this thing's name? I know it's Solosin. I know it's Reuniclus. I can't remember the middle one. This is Duosion. It's got Shadow Ball, Psychic, Calm Mind, and Shock Wave. All right. So, as I said, we have an important battle coming up. So, I don't know who this guy is. I'm sure we've met him before. He might be part of the evil team. We don't know. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Wrong button. Tobias. Hey, Cade. How's life? Any signs of Team... Wait, wait. Noivern escaped from Team Voltage? Oh my god, that's right. I forgot about that. So all this time, they had a secret hideout to themselves at Route 21 and kept Noivern there? Well, my dad's probably still interested about Noivern, but I hope it's safe now. Anyways, I fancy a battle right now. Do you, Cade? Well, we don't really have a choice, damn it. We are facing Pokemon Trainer Tobias. He's got six Pokemon. First of which, sorry, level 27? Um, I'm not mad by any means. Um, you could take the Psychic. Um, that's probably gonna be probably Oko. Yeah, just a thought. All right. I'm going to try really hard today not to use the speed up button because I know if I start using the speed up button, I won't be able to stop. Magby is going to be the next Mon in. Also, wait, is Florges also grass in this game? It is. Okay. That's something to keep in mind. Um, let's switch in Tesla here. Um, see what we can do um, against this Magby. Not really sure why he has just a Magby, not a Magmar or anything like that. Anyways. Let's go ahead and use Spark here. Uh, see, yeah, that's gonna take it out too. But we do get burned from Flame Body, which is unfortunate. Um, not much we can do there. Next up is gonna be Trapinch. Definitely something we'd like to switch out for. I think we're gonna switch in Petunia for this. Since we do have Giga Drain on it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we'll see. I haven't really um, memorized our movesets, but we can go ahead Pop this Giga Drain. Probably will Oko as it's super effective. Um, and we are gonna gain that last two points of health uh, to get back to full. Next up is gonna be Luxio. Oddly enough, we both have that Pokemon on our team. Um, I mean, let's switch out to Mr. Mud, I guess. Mrs. Mud, my bad. I'm used to starters being male. You know, just because they do have that 7 eighths chance of being male. Um, anyways, we do have EQ on this thing, which is crazy we have that move before it's even a Swampert. 
Um, but it could definitely become a Swampert pretty soon. Um, anyways, next is going to be Haunter. Um, Tesla will have Bite. I don't know if the physical special splits in this game. It probably is. But, uh, we are burned, so Bite not, might not be doing as much damage here. However, we are level 34, and this thing is level 27. So we can go ahead and Bite here. Um, it's just going to take it out anyway, so maybe it is a special move. There maybe isn't a split in this game, uh, but that's fine. Next up is Zoroark. Um, hmm, I mean Fairy. We can use Fairy Wind, although that's not a very powerful move. Um, if this thing is also level 27, then we should be able to take it out probably. It's level 30. Um, I still don't think we'll have an issue taking this thing out. As we are going to get taunted... Not really going to be too much of an issue for us, though. I forgot to fill my water up for this, so I'm also sick. So hopefully this doesn't get too screwed up. Anyways, we're going to hit level 35 with Petunia. We'll take that, and Pokemon Trainer Tobias is down for the count. There we go, we'll take those. Well, I better inform my dad about Noivern now. He'll be happy for Noivern, but he might try and look for it for himself. My dad, huh? That's what he does. Later, Cade. Where do we come out to? Route 17. Should probably also take a look at the map. Um, just to see where we are in the region. Um, those is key items. Town map. Let's use. Alright. 13, 14. Voltage hideout. Okay, I don't remember if we ever went there. 16, 22, Camilas. Where's Route 17? Um, Route 17? The chat out. Route 23. Um, alright. Not really sure. Where, uh, where we are. It's great. Um, I should probably switch around my controls. Route 17, North Iris Cave, Iris Village. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's look at this again. <laughs> we were not that far for Sea Island. Primrose, wait. Oh, Route 17. S then why is well to chat out all the way? You know what? We're not going to concern ourselves with that. Anyways, um, let's actually switch Tesla up front. Actually, wait, no. Let's switch Babyface up front. I didn't want to have Babyface battle in that battle just because it wasn't super high level but um we do have shadow ball on this thing won't obey that's right that's right I remember now wait so did we get this thing in a trade or something no that's what it is that's right forgot about that that's right so since it's <laughs> number 151 of the pokedex which is mapped over mew it's not gonna obey, obey us which sucks that's right so maybe it'll obey maybe it will obey no, I don't think it's ever going to obey. Okay, well. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're switching out into uh, Petunia. Forgot about that. As I... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Giga Drain. Goodbye. Glade. I guess we could stay in for you. Fairy Wind, you. There we go. Goodbye. Alright. That's why. That's what it is. So I guess we... <laughs> not really sure what I'm going to do about that. 
I might try and hack in some rare candies and see if like there goes the phone great I can't hear the name dang it I have to go look Alright, we are back. Definitely phone number I did not recognize. So, uh, we're good. Um, also, Babyface, you can go to the back of the party. You, my friend, can go to the back of the party. I have no more water. I'm gonna have this, but that's like, also has like, orange pop residue in it. <laughs> I might have to drink that. <laughs> um, that's right, I was gonna heal. I uh, heal you. I'm not gonna he Oh, okay. Accidentally restored baby face. Didn't really need to happen. Do we have any other heals? Before restore, burn heal. There we go. I knew we had one. Alright. Oh, one last patch of grass. Ice Vulpix. Unfortunately, it's also fairy type, so, um. You know. God dang it. I always do that. Okay, Never Melt Ice. I thought we already had one. Um. Maybe we didn't. I don't even know what I'm looking at my team for. I'm just thinking about types. Because, um, you know. I was raised in Irish. Iris Village since I was a little girl. Okay. You know, since I think we're gonna have to switch up our team or something, or I'm gonna have to see, like, hey, does Duo Ocean evolve into Reuniclus? What level? Because I know if we get it to evolve, it'll be mapped over Pokemon number 152, which is Chikorita, so Chikorita would obey any old trainer. But I guess me wouldn't. So, anyways, Spark is gonna come out. Maybe we need to get eight badges too. If we get eight badges, maybe then it'll obey us. Anyway, Swablu is going to be the next Mon in. We're going to stay in for that as well. Spark. Um, we'll also probably Oko Swablu. There it goes. I don't know how we're in the. Th like, my whole team is level 35. And we're battling like 27s. Oh, that's right, because I needed to grind for that one gem that I thought we needed to face Thunderfang. Um, wait, they're both the same power, um, I'm gonna screw it, Thunderfang is a cooler move, I'm gonna teach it, I don't care if it has less accuracy, anyways, Expert Cecilia, that's an interesting trainer class name, um, Let's see here. More grass. Cub chew. Wait. Everybody's level 35 now. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to fully evolve my uh my Mrs. Mud. So yeah, it's gonna be up front. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Damn. Really rub it in. Really rub it in, Ace Trader Hayden. I wish I was cool like you. Instead, I just sit here and play Pokemon all day. Anyways. I didn't even see what... Oh. Um. EQ, possibly? Thank God it didn't use a grass move. Alright. Alright. Sorry, that needed to happen. That needed to happen whether you agree with me or not. Because now I can speak for like five minutes without having to, without getting a super crappy, um, voice. Anyways, Iris Village. Um, so cold outside, I think. I want to go back inside where it's warm. Um, 
I really like this music. Oh, that's cool. Iris Village. What's in here? What do you have to say for yourself, my good sir? I heard that the gym leader here loves to make things out of ice. I think it's pretty creative. You've clearly never been to Minnesota where they have a whole thing on ice sculpting. You know? What do you have to say? I'm looking for the Pokemon Lampin. Want to trade one for my Ponyard? Honestly, I would not mind using a Ponyard in this playthrough. So, maybe. Though, I don't really know where to find Litwicks or Lampins in this game, because, you know, I haven't played this game in a while. I've actually completed Super Mario Bros. in 24 hours. I found it pretty simple. I'm not feeling like playing outside. A bit too chilly for me. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty nice weather outside for, for Minnesota right now. It's like mid-30s and late December. It's pretty good. Hyper Potion is key for your Pokemon's heal. It will restore 200 HP and you can use it before, during, and after battle. Cool. But isn't after and before battle the same thing? Think about it. Man, I love the snowy weather. It gets me excited to... And so do the others. Do you want to build a... No. No. I'm always doing... <laughs> Do I need a- do I need a- I'm always doing the bloody dishes! God, that is not a good voice. Never mind. I'm thinking of Toad from The Wolf Among Us, which that's a series you should check out if you haven't. And um, there's a gym here. Of course, the gym's gonna be the last thing we do. Okay, I heard that you can get an Eyesight Vulpix on Route 17. It must have come from a long way. Hmm. All sorts of tools are lined up neatly. Hi there, how may I help you? You might oh my god, that's those are some those are some items. It never hurts to have extra items. Agreed. Did I already talk to you? Yes. I did. On um, this is the one you can walk over, yes. Okay. So I think the only thing we haven't checked out is the gym. That there's somebody standing in front. Hmm. So you're that kid, huh? You're the kid who's sweeping all those Team Voltage. How do I know? I've been watching you around every corner and following your footsteps. You're a very inspiring trainer, ain't you? Can I tell you a little secret? Okay. I used to be part of Team Voltage. They used... They used... They used to be? They used to be the heroes back in the day by helping people out. But it went down a hill when they thought that rare Pokemon could be useful for their organization. One day they found a Zapdos in a faraway place. That Zapdos was pretty tough. They easily caught it with a rope. Huh? That Pokemon makes them evil in the first place. They thought that having a legendary Pokemon makes them think that they are bigger than anyone else. So they've encountered a girl who lives in Astrotown who used to play with her Poliwag. But then that Zapdos gave it a one big strike of a thunder and killed it. Bruh? Poor Poliwag. I usually visit it once every month in the Astro Tower. And as you know already, they've caught Noivern in the Begonia Cavern right in front of your face. I feel like this is the guy who's like, here's the whole, here's how I explain the story to you in layman terms because clearly you don't get what the creators are actually trying to tell you. <laughs> that Pokemon's very strong indeed. Then I saw it escape from Team Voltage Hideout. I hope that Pokemon's safe from those monsters. Recently, I've heard that Team Voltage are taking over the Primrose HQ in Primrose City to promote their organization. Was there a scientist who was saying, sorry, we're busy right now? Yeah, I bet he's lying to you, kid. He may be, he may be a part of Team Voltage after all. I also bet now you're about to challenge to this gym, right? Well, good luck with that, and once you're done, please stop Team Voltage from taking over the Primrose headquarters. I almost forgot. Take this with you. It's very special to me. A Master Ball. It's called the Master Ball, and it's the best ball at the ultimate level of performance. It will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Good luck, kid. I'm always behind you. That's a thunker. That's a thunker right there. I have... That's... That's crazy. Just randomly like, Oh, by the way, here you go. Um... Odd indeed. 
Um, well, that's good, because if we were supposed to know that, um, they were taking over the Primrose HQ, uh, just without any of us noticing, or without me doing anything, then yeah, but, uh, holy crap, dude. I'm not in a good shape to record right now. <laughs> Alright, let's challenge the gym, damn it, and then the next episode we can take on Primrose HQ or whatever. Leader, Theodore, is a very fascinating trainer who uses Steel-type Pokemon. Bring fire type Pokemon, you will burn through this gym. You're telling me that this isn't a nice type gym. Whatever. I don't care. Steel type Pokemon is my specialty, you know. Good for you. Nobody else cares. At least I don't think so. Ace Trainer Presley, who has a ball while. Let's go, Mrs. Mud. Alright, yeah. It's probably time to speed up a bunch of trainer battles. Level 36. You know what that means. Oh, okay. You want to be that guy. Goodbye. Ready? Ready? Mrs. Mud is evolving? Cue my ever-famous... Hey, I didn't know Pokemon evolved. Thing? No. Thank God. Another fully evolved Mon, and we're kind of just crushing this game. Like, you're not gonna lie. We need to catch a different Pokemon and use it. We're definitely catching a different Pokemon and then training it up in the headquarters. Just cause, you know. Definitely. Anyways, Gary, I haven't ha used you yet. So we're just gonna use you. Um, Dragon Breath, I guess. Not very effective. I don't think any of our moves are very effective, I'll be honest. Hone Edge. Um. Wow, why does that do so much damage? What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, Shockwave. That doesn't kill it because it's a Skarmory. Alright, uh, I did not see who's coming out next. Aeron. Water Pulse. Goodbye. Why is Water Pulse so good in this game? Wait. He just have one more trainer and then we're at the gym leader. Wait, what? Excuse me. Um, interesting. You can catch this Dragon Breath. I bet you he has a Bisharp as his best mod. Level 36 on Gary. Alright, well, we're okay. Run button, not speed button. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Sorry. I used. I'm using VBA on my laptop when I play, like I play like Pokemon Glaze just randomly during lectures sometimes, and the controls are different on that, so that's why if you d think I should be pressing A and I'm actually pressing the menu button, that's because that's A on my laptop. Alright, um, Steel type Pokemon, so not Petunia actually. Let's leave with Tesla, probably our best two Pokemon against this gym are a little higher. Which is fine, I don't really care. Anyways, let's talk to this dude. Did you come inside from the cold kit? Fascinating. The name's Theodore, and I'm proud to be the leader of the Irish gym. I wonder what style you you have to bring to this gym today, kid. Let me see them, kid. Don't disappoint me, kid. Oh boy, alright. His sprite though is kind of clean. Leader Theodore would like to battle. Starts with a scissor. All right. Um, this would be an issue if we weren't seven levels above this dude. Um, let's go ahead, Thunder Fang. That's probably not going to be very effective. Um, it still does so much damage. I don't know how we got so over leveled in this game. I'll be honest. The, that's just crazy. Anyways, let's go ahead and use um Thunder Fang again. Not sure why he's using False Swipe, just that's definitely a questionable decision indeed. Tesla's going to gain some nice experience, and Steelix is going to be the next Mon in. Um, this is definitely where we say, hey, I don't care that you resist Stab Fairy type moves. We also have Giga Drain, and that's also Stab. Um, it's only level 28, and I accidentally used Fairy Wind. And used... And you used Iron Defense. Interesting. Anyways, well, I think that means that Giga Drain will be taking you out. Goodbye, Steelix. Goodbye. 
All right, we'll take that nice experience. Age of Slash is gonna be the last Amon in here. Let's switch to Tesla so we can buy it, I guess. Um, you know, this hasn't been a very difficult gym battle because we're kind of over level. Although this thing's level 32, so let's go ahead and buy it. See how much damage that does. It's super effective, almost takes this thing out. It's gonna use Slash here. That does not do any damage. It is this dude is gonna use a hyper potion? Um, it's just delaying its imminent. Uh, this dude's imminent defeat. Um, are you are you really gonna do this? Okay, goodbye, Age of Slash. Goodbye. Let's have that nice experience. Theodore is down for the count, and there we go. For your impressive style, you earn my gratitude, kid. Please, please take this badge. It's called the. Polish badge. I read that as Polish first, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, got a Polish badge. And there's no sound effects. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba 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 -da, ba -ba. Yeah, that, that was not very good of me. I should not have done that. <laughs> All right, with this badge, you can now climb up those waterfalls. I wanted to do that from some time now. Sounds fascinating. Also take this as well. Team 23, Iron Tail. The target is slammed with a steel hard tail. This may also lower the target's defense stat. Well, um, let's take a look at our TMs. Um, wherever they may be. Oh, you know, probably in the TM case. All right, waterfalls, calm mind, toxic, hidden power, ice beam, uh, iron tail. Oh, that's why we have. Okay. Why can so many Pokemon learn Iron Tail? Um, I'm not mad that you can learn Iron Tail at all. Just seems odd. Mrs. Mud can learn Iron Tail. Um, I mean, we're probably never gonna use Takedown. Um, Gary, Gary already has a very diverse move set. I don't think we teach it to you. EQ Psychic Shadow Ball, blah blah blah, Flamethrower. No. Unlucky. We need a fire type. We need a fire type Pokemon on this, on our team. Well, hopefully, if the dude didn't tell us quickly enough, um, we need to go to Primrose City. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Have we already been to Primrose City? Oh, um, that's cool. I really wish I knew where we were. Maybe Route 17, I think we can actually look at the actual town map. Okay. We're not actually on Route 9. You're just here. We go back south then. I think we are already in Edelweiss City. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, I don't I have no idea. Um so I guess we'll just also wait, do we have fly? Um, we do have fly. Do you have a Pokemon that can fly? Okay, I did not mean to do that. If we have a Pokemon that can fly, like in the PC or something, um, move Pokemon. All we have is an Eevee. God dang it. Wait, do we have a Firestone? Do you have any type of stone, actually? Um, you have a Thunderstone. We already have an Electric type. Unlucky. You have a Moonstone. I don't think that would really do anything. Yeah, I don't think. Well, um, we don't have a Flying type Pokemon, so I guess we're marching back through that cave. I guess we're marching right back through that cave. All right, run. Goodbye. Ready for repels. We started our episode here. We're gonna end it probably here as well We have two super repels You have to make every step count so That's why we're doing our very short Very short speed ups all right, um I have no idea where I'm going also um, alright. 
Um, please tell me we faced all these trainers because in all honesty, I'm not trying to get caught by a random trainer. That scared me. Although we can use... Oh no. Don't make me do this. Never mind, it's not that bad. Okay, as I said, I have no idea where we're going. So... Please help me. Ladder? Oh no. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Goodbye. Probably jump the sledge. Oh, please don't tell me I just screwed this up. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, I think we're supposed to go down this way. Do we have like a standard repel? Please? Yes, we have five standard repels. Thank you. Oh, wait. Please tell me this is the start of the cave. I think it is. We are in Primrose City. Alright, we've made it back to this, this place. So, we're going to end off the episode right here. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Sky Twilight, make sure to mock punch that like button and of course subscribe. If you guys have not, you don't want to miss out on the end of this series because I think we're getting to really the end of it. We're doing the Evil Team Hideout in the next episode, it sounds like. We're also one badge away from getting our 8th badge. Um, and then I assume we're going on to the Pokemon League. So, don't miss out. Anyways, um, we're going to end off, as I said, we're going to end off today's episode here. Anyways, um, beat Twitch and Twitter, um, important things that you don't want to miss out on. Uh, but with that, you guys, I'm going to get up out. This is Caterade 5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.